Alright, this is literally take 100 of this intro, so hopefully it comes out alright. Because I really don't have a viewfinder, so I literally have to record in front of a mirror. My hair is trash, my face is trash. Slept in my makeup, you know, quick life hack. That's really actually not good for your skin or your eyes or eyelashes, whatever. What's up guys, it's Kenzie. Don't know what I'm doing with my arms, but I just wanted to say what's up because we kind of disappeared for a solid year or two. <laughs> However long it's been since we've uploaded, which I apologize from the bottom of my heart. And yeah, so I just wanted to come back, you know, something new, something fresh. We've only done gymnastics videos, so I thought that I'd come at you with a curveball, surprise you, you know, keep you on your toes. Um, so I'm making this really yummy smoothie bowl, you know, typical girl. It's so good though, it doesn't even matter, you know, go vegan, save the environment, save the animals, you know. But if you have any other video requests for us, let us know. We'll try and record those for you guys. If you enjoy our new content, give it a new, give it a nice thumb. Give it a thumbs up. Alright, <laughs> let's get into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing that you're going to need for this smoothie bowl are some frozen blueberries, blueberries, some flax seeds, that's optional, you don't need those, um, and two almost ripe bananas, then some strawberries, almond milk, and a Nutribullet or some type of blender. So first things first, you're going to get out your cutting board. And I don't know why I got that out first, actually. And then I'm going to fill up my Nutribullet about a quarter of the way with my frozen fruit. Then I'm going to take a banana and place it in with the blueberries. So that's the base of the smoothie, um, along with the almond milk. Then I'm going to put in some silk. This is also optional. It's soy yogurt. Um, I like the creaminess that it... Um, makes the smoothie a lot more creamy to me and less icy tasting. Then you're just going to blend that all up in your Nutribullet. Give it a little shake, make sure that there's no clumps in it. Yeah, for whatever reason today my Nutribullet was giving me a hard time. I guess I didn't have the cap screwed on all the way. Then you're going to grab a bowl to put your smoothie in. Pretty self-explanatory, doesn't really require a lot of instruction. Now for the toppings, you're going to take your other banana and I like chopping it a little bit thinner because um, since my bowl is a little not like not very wide, um, I do small slices and I didn't end up using all of the banana just because there wasn't enough room. I'm going to do the same thing with strawberries, make sure that you wash them first, you don't want no pesticides girl. And I'm doing that to two of them. I also ran out of space on that, so you probably don't need um, that many. I also forgot to show, but I also put in some chocolate chips. Don't worry, they're vegan. No milk, no eggs, you know. So then you're going to decorate your bowl accordingly. That's where I put in the flax seeds, the bananas. Then you're going to see me stack some strawberries. Oh, they were so good, so sweet today. And then also on the top... Um, I put on some chocolate chips because I'm a chocolate girl and chocolate's good, so why not? Once you're finished putting all of your toppings of your choice on your smoothie bowl, you are finished. And it will look something like this. Mine's not so cute, not so photogenic. I'm, I still haven't mastered the art of pretty looking bowls, but, you know, I'm working on it. But that is the conclusion of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Our social media will be linked in the description.